Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Mark Berman, News Talk, 1400. W-O-N-D. Brandon, right there. <laughs> I got your CD, too. I heard it playing. Player three, and let's, let's, let's hear this. Can I steal a little love? Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I steal a little love? Pull me, honey, I'm on fire. To steal your love is my desire. Cool me, honey, I'm on fire. You know, that could be somebody out there baking today without some pan lotion. That could be a summer song. This could be a new summer song. I'm going to talk about summer songs today, too. Okay. So listen. You know what else is? You know what else is really classic American music, Sinatra, and and the great standards. And boy, there's there's nothing better than than that. I mean, when you go back, sure, there's great music today. I mean, and it could stand up to that. Thirty years from now, we look back and say, man, there was some great music back in 2011. Well, we look back to that, to the great ladies of jazz, to the great men of the big band era, and even the guys. After the big band era, the guys that started there, I, you know, as, as the, those of you who listen to my show, my favorite performer is Louis Prima. I, I love Louis Prima. Louis Prima is the best. Louis Prima and Sam Butera was the co-host of my radio show in Philadelphia. And uh, rest in peace, Sam. You were the best, man. Greatest sax player. Well, that music is so great, and great music is always great music. It doesn't matter if it was written in the 20s or 30s or 40s or 60s or 70s. Great music is great music. And there are people who continue to bring this great music to the forefront. I have somebody in the studio. I'm going to bring him in in about four minutes. He's bringing great music to the forefront. He's talented. He, you know what? Give me another track off the CD. I, I want to tease you again. you got to listen to this. That was a good one. That was a good one. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, coming up in about four minutes, you're going to meet this talented performer. Brandon Tomasello. He's a talented kid. We just played you two tracks. Come on in here. Before we begin, about personally your age and everything else, because obviously he's not 80, he's not 70, he's not 60, he's not 50, he's not 40, he's not 30. Wait a minute, but wait, there's more. He's not even 20. Okay, so hold on. How'd you get interested in this stuff? I grew up with my grandparents, and uh, my grandmother was in love with Sinatra, and that's all I would hear. I'd walk in, that's all she would talk about was Frank. Now, did you like the music, the arrangements, the songs? I mean, you're a kid. You're 19 years old, okay? You're 19 years old. Hold on. Do you know, if I put a phone up here and it has a dial on it, would you know how to use it? No! You don't even know what that is! Do you know yes, I do. We had one in my basement. I would play with it. Okay, so it was a toy. It was a Fisher Price thing. No, it was, it was a, a real kid. one. So now, do you know what it's like to live without MTV? No. I don't watch MTV. What's the first? No, wait, 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 wait. This could be interesting, Switch. What's the first CD you bought? Can you remember? It was a Dean Martin CD. Oh, come on! <laughs> You're freaking me out now. Well, my grandmother had a Sinatra CD. Wow, ain't that a kick in the head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. So now you're doing all this stuff. And when did you figure out you could sing? When I went into third grade to the Philadelphia Performing Arts Charter School. Oh, is that where you went? Yes. Oh. And uh, the CEO, Angela Corsiniti, took me under her wing and made me do everything I didn't want to do. You're going to sing. I don't want to sing. Too bad, you're going to sing. You're, the, you're going to be the lead in Oliver. I don't want to do it. Oh, so you too did big. the shows too. And then in the end of third grade, they I auditioned for the boys choir, the Philadelphia boys choir. That's big. And they sent her the letter that I was accepted. 
And she walked over to me and waving that thing in my face, you got accepted, you got... I said, I don't want to do it. She said, too bad, you're doing it. Because I want to be a fighter pilot. Wait a minute, really? Well, you're 19. Yeah, I guess that chick, I mean, you wanted to be this, you wanted to be that. You know, you're, you're still young. You still got a long time to decide what you want to do. Except for you, you decided what you want to do, and you've got a beautiful CD, man. Thank you. I mean, you really do. Now, did you play the Kibble Center? Yes, we did that with the charter school last Wednesday. So oh, that's that the first time I did the Kimball Center. Oh, it isn't? No, it's the seventh time. And you did this with the school, or you've done it with, with... I did it with the boys' choir several times. I did it with the school three times. So the rest of that would be with the boys' choir. So now... But I always had solos when I was with the boys' choir. Real, you know, you know, the Philadelphia boys' choir, and of course me being a Philly guy who moved here four years ago from Philly, um, it's big. So where did you go to high school? Well, that's an interesting story. I went to Prep Charter High School for two years. And the last two years, I went to Delaware Valley High School. Wait a minute. Wait, Bustleton Avenue? No, the other one in Center City. Oh, man, right I Right near the Kimmel Center. Oh, gee, this is great. Hey, do you know Boys to Men? You know, they went to those schools down there. They went to the Philadelphia Performing Arts thing down there. Really? Yeah, they were on the show last week. So, you've got this career going. I mean, you're 19, and you've got a great CD. Where'd you record it? In my studio, my friend and I, Steve. Really? In the back yeah. of my house. I have two buildings, the house, the yard, and then a separate building, which was my grandfather. Now, where do you live? 12th and Porter. You live in South Philadelphia? Yes, I do. Did you ever go to that uh, Nick's place at uh, 20th, 20th and Jackson? Oh, can you imagine how Nick's great Charcoal is that? Pit? <laughs> That's my grandfather's favorite Nick's, place. Nick's is the great... Nick's. Come on, Nick's roast beef, man. It's the greatest place, isn't yep. it? Get a little roast beef with some horseradish on it. And the horseradish is like, like it's so strong it comes out your nose. <laughs> isn't that amazing? That's yeah. pleasant. Did you ever go to Reading Terminal and go to d -Nicks? No. You're my in grandfather goes over there all the time, though. But you're in South Philadelphia. So you come down the Jersey Shore, though, over so Oh, yeah. So what's your favorite shore? Brigantine. Is that where you go? That's where I go. You know, you can drive on the beach there if you get a permit. Not in a Mustang. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you get stuck. Well, I'll be honest with you. Most people wouldn't. He probably wouldn't. Have switched would. As a matter of fact, have you? Mustang, sure. I may not remember it, but I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm really impressed with what you've done. So, you're putting something together, and we'll announce it on the show once it's signed and everything's done. And you got Neil here. He's doing some of your publicity. Yes, he is. He's the greatest in the industry. He does. In the industry. He does miracles for people. This guy moves mountains. He does such great stuff for some big names. Uh, nothing I much for me, me but, <laughs> but he does a lot for for you know. Uh, you know, I would. You know, I'm a major minor celebrity here, but he keeps passing me over, and he's my publicist. I'm, Give him I'm, your famous line. I, I have a lot of them. Well. With a publicist like me, you need what? Oh, yeah, with a publicist yeah. like him, I need a publicist to cover up. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a publicist out there. Can I get a publicist hey, to cover up? Hey, don't pick on Nilsa. It's his birthday. Oh, hold on, everybody. Hold on. It's his birthday. Hold on. What would it be? A, a, what would a birthday be without a cake? We can't light candles. Here's your damn cake. Hey, all right. And when you have people over, when you have people over for a party, what would a party be without pretzels and potato chips? Oh, I'm sorry. And the gift. We went to 200 of your closest friends, and we went out and got you a gift, a $50 Wawa gift card. There it is. Yeah. Right, well, that's, that's valuable. Oh, happy birthday. Lillian's, um, bar bike. Just kidding, No, Lillian is getting the bar bike. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Neil's birthday. Happy, see, just oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Neil. Birthday. Are you Paul McCartney? Okay. okay. McCartney's today. Okay, here we go. Well, same day. But after we did the Kimmel show, one of the managers came over and said they would like me to come sing uh, before Tony Bennett. Not before, the, during the, in the lobby. While well, Tony Bennett's there. So you're wow. actually going to be at a kind of a, a cocktail reception thing in for the lobby Tony Bennett, for Tony yes. Bennett. You know, Tony Bennett is one of the greatest in history of all time. Ever. Frank Sinatra mm -hmm. said Tony Bennett was the greatest singer of all time. And that's absolutely right. And Tony Bennett is the one that everybody went to see. They, 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 Sinatra, the biggest. We go to see, don't you like Tony Bennett? I like Tony Bennett. You like his, his, you like his big band? Do you like the jazz stuff? The, the I, like it, I like both of it. 
So, but so, I get pulled more into the big band. So Sinatra is your favorite. You, yes. You love Frank, okay? But if you if, if we cut away from that, who else do you listen to? Dean Martin. <laughs> you want to get Wolf. younger? No, I want you. I want you to be I mean, you. I listen to Michael I, I, Bublé. Who? Michael Bublé. Oh, Michael Bubble from Canada. Bubble, yeah. <laughs> he was just here last week. Yes, I was there. And tell him what you thought of him. I think you're better. And tell him what you really uh, thought. Listen to your CD. I think. Yeah, you're what better. you think about him? <laughs> I think you're better. Come on, Brandon. Well, Tell him what you really thought of Bublé. Tell him what my mom said. No, what my mom said. Uh-oh. We got to censor Brandon, that. Brandon's mom telling us here, too. <laughs> we got to censor uh, that. To he didn't like Bublé. Well, you know what? You know what? He, well, I like him, but good. I expect you to sound the same as your CD does. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> get all of it. You're being please. real. Frank sounded the same. Dean sounded the same. Tony Bennett sounds the same. I sound the same. So, well, Michael Bublé is good. He's got his thing. But there's, but you know what? There's, there's other. He's you know, Steve Terrell. I've heard he's coming to town. This guy's great, man. He's got this thing going. But what you got going for you is you're doing all this stuff. You're 19, and you got that mature voice, and it comes <clears throat> through on the CD. Well, people say to me, "Who taught you how to sing?" I said, "Frank." Dean. Now, do you take lessons? Do you, do you no. study with anybody? It's nope. just you. You just, just like me. to sing. Good. That's it. And you want to go out and you want to take this out and get. You want to do the big rooms. You want to do the lounges. What do you want to do? You want to. I want to do, you want to do bar mitzvahs and weddings. No. What do you want to do? No. 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 Madison Square no. You know we have everybody on this no show. No weddings. I do have to say this to you. Melissa Etheridge is on. Uh, these people come on this show. Jack Bruce from Creed. Uh, all been on the show, and we ask them that question. Yeah. Where Where did you start? You know how many people. First of all. Many of them, their first guitar was a Sears Silvertone. And a lot of them got their, their, their craft down uh, during the wedding circuit. They hey, a lot of times that's that, where yeah. the money is. You are so much. I'll, I'll be honest with you. You are you're a breath of fresh air. You're a throwback, man. Do you understand this? I, you know what? I believe in you. Thank I think, you. I think there's big things going to happen for you. I, I really do. I think you have a great personality. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm talking to you, interviewing you. We had no pre-interview, because I don't do pre-interviews. You just walked in. I, just, I met you about 30 I seconds ago. I walked in late. I, I, I met you about 30 seconds yep. ago. You handled yourself real well, man. Well, Listen to this you. kid. He's 19 years old. Come on. You're great. And I think that uh, there's a lot of big things happening for you. How can we get in touch with you? Give us a website, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, BrandonThomasello.com. And there's uh, the video that Kimmel's on there. The article, the newspaper interview I did is there. Reverb Nation? Reverb Nation's on there. Right, you can right. hear some of the uh, tracks. Anything else? That's yeah, your you're department. ranked at 36 in Philadelphia right now. I'm, in, in out of 5,000 people. In Philadelphia, out of the jazz charts, I'm number 37 or 36. 36 now. 36. Of the jazz charts? Very nice. Yeah. You're rocking, pal. We went from 250 down to 36 pretty quick. I wish you all the luck in the world. Brandon Tomasello here on the Mark Berman Show. Oh, God. You know, okay. you know, Brandon's got a lot of friends. Wait, check this out. Here he is again. Another taste of Brandon Tomasello. Anybody else? Uh, word, Brandon's please. mom. You have a good, well, come on, a summer song. You got anything? Oh, on the way to Cape May. <laughs> on the way to the buffet. <laughs> Kate May! Kate May! I'm sorry. You know, I went to so many events and so many affairs, I'm thinking on the way to the buffet, because I'd be in traffic, waiting. It's not <laughs> traffic, traffic, but it's waiting in line for the buffet. You know, you go to an event or something, you got to wait in line. All I want is a meatball, and you, if you butt up, they kill you. No, you, what, do you, what do you mean? So, uh, you have a favorite so, summer song? Come oh, on. come on, that's an easy well, one. Well, no, oh, I know where we're going to go here. Go ahead. The what? summer wind <laughs> ain't blowing in. From across the... You are focused more than any... You know what? We have it's these like guys... In the, we have these guys... Yeah, man. We have... I can't tell you who we have on this show. We have all these people. you got focus, man. You are destined to go somewhere. You know, Brandon, I can also tell you're a singer. Because I sit right back here and watch the levels and run the board. So when you talk, your levels are, you know, in a certain way. And as soon as you sang, your voice just opened up, and all my levels went screaming. <laughs> Oops. 